Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Nor my commentary. We have Edge against Daniel Bryan. Oh, boy. This is going to be awesome. to the midsection. Oh, with authority. That'll leave your head throbbing for quite some time. Take a moment to talk about Edge. It seems as though his popularity grows with each passing week. What do you think Daniel Bryan's feeling right now? For those who aren't familiar with him, what can they anticipate out of him here? Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. That's a good sign. Well, they're all real men in the WWE, but he's going to have to do something extra special to show that he's more real than his opponent tonight. Edge finding a path of destruction currently. Submission holds are a huge part of Daniel Bryan's game. Whether it's his yes lock or a guillotine choke or something else, Daniel can push his opponent to the breaking point faster than just about anyone else out there. He just planted him with a DDT. Focusing on the chest now. is being put in by Daniel Bryan. He hits the drop kick from an incredible vertical leap. You know, Michael, some of Daniel Bryan's submission moves are virtually unbreakable. Just ask Dean Ambrose or Randy Orton or Rey Mysterio. Ask any of them. They've all been pushed to the breaking point by Daniel. Pain has to be shooting through his face. Edge going for the cover. One, two, a kick out. This one's not over yet, Cole. Yeah, this match is far from over. wants to be. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. And Michael, this might very well be where one of these guys pulls away from the other. And on top of that, John, these two guys couldn't be any more evenly matched at this point. Nice reversal there. He was one step ahead on that one. Daniel Bryan with the quick cover. And an easy kick out breaks up the referee's count. You know, of everything we can say about Daniel Bryan, has there ever been a superstar who's had a more painful experience as a WWE Champion than Daniel? I mean, Bryan won the WWE Championship twice in 2013, and both times lost his grip on the title almost immediately. He held it for about a minute after beating John Cena at SummerSlam, and then once he got the title back, he only held it for a day. I mean, I hope he's got a revolving door on his trophy case. Boy, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. Daniel Bryan makes the cover. There's not a person in this arena who thought that was it for him. No, this guy's too strong. This guy's too powerful. Daniel Bryan and Kane made an incredible tag team during the time Team Hell No held the championship for 245 days between 2012 and 2013. When Hollywood makes the Daniel Bryan story into a movie, Team Hell No is going to be a big part of it. I'm almost surprised their run at the top didn't even last a little bit longer. Looks like Daniel Bryan is off his game here. 
His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. And on top of that, he's been spending a lot of time outside the ring during this match. You have to wonder what the strategy is here. Good point. And how about the amount of time he spent outside the ring? That's a little telling if you ask me. It seems like he's a little scared to find out who the better man is. And his heartless attack continues. Oh, man. This is getting tough to watch. Three. When this guy's on, look out. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. Quick thinking to avoid that. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Eight. Nine. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Oh, come on, not like this. This is not how I wanted to see this end. to the ref's count or risk losing like this. Yeah, what a battle to end this way. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude.